So today we've got an equipment video for you and specifically we're going to look at the Swordman Edwin 2.0 reel mower. Now this thing's appeared in many of my videos and I've gotten a ton of comments and questions about it. So the best way for me to handle that is to show you the machine in detail, take you through what it can do, show you how it cuts grass, which is the most important thing, and explain to you why you might want to consider buying this fantastic machine. And with real mowing, you're going to get a much sharper cut and you can cut extremely low. And that's why most people are going to do it. The blades of the grass are going to be healthier. They're not going to get that brown twinge after you cut. And it's just a better thing overall for your lawn. Up until now, this is what most people would buy if they wanted to get into real mowing. These are X golf course machines that they use to cut putting greens. And you can use these at home. These machines cost over $10,000 new. Now you can get them used for much less money, but parts are very expensive. And if you want to get the blade sharpened, nobody tells you that you've got to take this entire machine somewhere for them to do that job because most golf courses sharpen them themselves right on the course. Lawn stripes can change how your lawn looks. You can look like a ball field or get that English country garden look, but it changes how your lawn looks and makes it stand out to others. And personally, I love the way the stripes look. And what Swordman did to make those stripes stand out was they installed two rollers on your machine. Now the front roller was an option that I added, but just about everybody buys that because it makes a good change in how the machine lays these stripes down. Now the back roller you see there is stainless steel. It's got a split differential on it, which just means that you can turn on a dime because the roller won't dig into your lawn when you're doing a tight turn. But in addition, the front roller here is grooved and these two together are going to give you those fantastic stripes that you really want to get on your lawn. The best lawnmower is the one that you're going to be the most comfortable at and Swordman really addressed this a different way. They made the handlebars completely adjustable. Now I've had some mowers that you can do some of this, but never where you have these two different points that you can adjust. And just by loosening a couple of screws, you can completely customize this machine for you. And it's not just a matter of making the handlebars go up and down, you can even change the angle. So with a little bit of experimentation, you can set this machine so that it's exactly right for you, no matter what height you are. And you can see the amount that you can adjust the handlebar, and this is just the wrist angle. Then you can move on and adjust the handlebar height as well. So by making these adjustments, you can set this mower to be kind of just what you want. And in my case, I found it very comfortable once I messed with these bolts a little bit and got it just where I wanted it to be. Now additionally, you could also use these to help you store the machine in the winter because that handlebar is split in the middle. And here's another different feature. They added a small tool storage bag. Now included are a couple of basic tools, but these are pretty much the only thing you're going to need to make any of those adjustments. You have your Allen key and a wrench, and you can probably throw some more stuff in there, but this is a good thoughtful addition. When it came to the cutting reel, Swordman did some really cool things that make a big difference in how you can use this machine. First off, this machine can cut grass right from ground level all the way up to just over two inches, which is pretty amazing for a real mower because most machines will not cut that high and that low. And here you can see that adjusting the height of the machine is incredibly easy. You just flip that lever, there's one bolt to turn, and you can adjust the height wherever you want it to be. And if you're someone like me that's working their way to cutting very low, having that high height can make a big difference. And here you're looking at the adjustment bolts for the reel. So reels need adjusting over time. And Swordman has three adjustment bolts, which makes a big difference in how accurate you can get your blade setting. Now I use my machine a little bit differently because I oftentimes don't use this grass catcher at all. But when I want to, especially if I'm doing things like dethatching, this comes on and off very easily. And it's all metal, which means it's going to last a long time. Those two hooks are what holds it in place. You don't need any tools to take it off. And it really holds quite a bit of material. It may not look that large, but in practice, I'm able to mow quite a bit before it needs to be emptied. That grass catcher actually rests on those pieces of metal with those O-rings. And all that does is keep it from vibrating and making you go crazy. Now what surprises a lot of people about engines on real mowers is that they're very small. They don't need to be big because you need less power to cut the grass. And in fact, you're only going to run this engine usually at about half speed to get a really great cut. And they put a large gas tank on it, which helps a lot because for most people, you might only fill up every few weeks. Now Swarman didn't make this engine, but this Briggs & Stratton is very easy to service. And you've got to think about that when you're buying a machine. Your oil fills right there that you can also use to change your oil. You've got your air cleaner that's easy to reach. 
and even your spark plug is right there. So when things are like this, you're generally gonna work in your machine more because it's just simple to do. And the last thing that means a lot to me is they put this deflector on the exhaust and that just means that you're not gonna breathe the exhaust as much while you're using the machine because it's pointed away from you. And here's the starting procedure for this machine. It's very straightforward and I'm just gonna spend a second showing you how to do it. You're gonna turn your gas valve on, which is built right into the machine, and then you're gonna turn your ignition switch to the on position, put your choke on, and then just give it a pull to start the machine right up. Now my experience, it generally takes just one or two pulls to start it, and it's very easy. Swordman put an adjustable throttle control up on the handlebars because while you're mowing, you might want to vary your speed a little bit. Now in a machine like this, you only cut about half speed. It's not like a regular mower, and that's more than enough to give you a great cut. So having the controller is a nice convenience. Using a Swordman is easy, but it's different than any other reel mower I've ever used. So what they've done is they've separated controlling the reel from the drive mechanism. So by engaging this little lever here, you can squeeze your right hand lever, which will engage the reel. And that just means the machine's gonna cut. So as soon as you squeeze that in fully and crank up the throttle, you'll be right at where you wanna be for cutting grass. But the machine is still not moving. So that's where you slowly squeeze the left handle and that's gonna control the machine going forward. And you can squeeze it fully for maximum speed or just a little bit if you wanna go slower. So once you do this for a few minutes, it's very easy to use this machine. Using a Swordman is different than other kinds of reel mower because it uses a cassette or a cartridge type system that allows this to do more than just mowing the grass because it means that I don't have to have another mower to do cleanups. So most people who get a reel mower have to have a walk behind mower that they use to do vacuum cleanups or if they wanna cut high. The Swordman is unique because you can do things like dethatching like I'm doing here and clean up your yard very thoroughly and it eliminates the need for having a second machine and of course, great quality of cut is why you want to buy a Swarbin mower. They're known for that, and they can cut as well at two inches as they do at a half an inch or even less. They're really incredible. Now what you're looking at here looks a little bit weird. These look like white grass blades or white weeds. And what this is, weeds that have been treated with a product called Tenacity. If you're not familiar with that, I've made a bunch of videos on it and the stuff works great, but this is what they look like about a week into the treatment and in about another week, they'll be dead. So as we get started with the mowing, I just wanted to point this out. Now watch closely as I'm cutting this bed because a real mower like a Swordman has a cool ability that allows you to cut over the edge of the bed. And you can do that because it's got these rollers and it balances the machine on the rollers, not on traditional wheels like you'd have with a walk behind mower. So when you do this, it can save you a lot of time that you may not need to edge those beds quite as often. Now, great stripes are a hallmark of the Swordman. It does a terrific job because it's got both of those rollers as I showed you earlier. But the other thing I like about the Swordman is the fact that I can cut as well at two inches as I can at a half an inch. So here, I'm doing it just over two inches because it's really hot right now and I don't want to stress out this part of my lawn. But that's the beauty of this. I can cut at whatever height I want and I can still get those great stripes. And if you compare that to getting a golf course machine, you can't cut over an inch and a quarter on those golf course units. And that's something that's a big surprise for people. Now the Swordman's are not cheap, but anytime you're gonna buy something that's high quality, you're gonna pay for it. But at least with the Swordman, you should not have to go out and buy another machine because this single unit with a single engine to maintain should be able to do pretty much everything you would need to in your yard. And that includes from things like cleanup, to mowing, to all sorts of tasks like that. You can even use their dethatcher to break up aeration cores. So there's a lot of versatility with it that you might not think about. So it is a big investment, but I think it's one you might want to consider if you're in this space. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and comment below. Thanks for watching.